In a previous example, we've looked at how the join function works, where we can take two things and separate cells and other text and sort of create a sentence or um, stick them all together with a delimiter, which means something between each word. Today, we're going to look at the opposite, which is splitting things up using a delimiter. So in this example here, I have a list of people's first and last names pulled from a database and they're together. So we want to split them up so we can see people's first and last names separately. That is very easy to do with the split function. So I just go ahead and I'm going to type split and we'll look at how it works. First, we pass it uh, some text and then we tell it which delimiter to use. So here in, in our example, we'll say we want to split this name and the delimiter in this case is a space. That's just the thing between each uh, word. And I'll go ahead and push return. And now we can see we've got first and last name listed here. And if I want to, I can just copy what's in cell, this cell and paste it down to get everyone else's first and last name. And similarly, we can also figure out how to split apart this birth date. Now, something that drives me crazy is um, birth date formats. Um, I, in some parts of the world, it's day, month, year. In other parts of the year, it's month, day, year. And in this example here, it is currently day, month, year. We're going to split those out properly and then build it back up using the date command. And luckily for us, we can use the split command uh, to do it here as well. This was exported from a database. It's just plain text. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the split command in the same way here. I'll say split, open bracket. We'll pass it C2 here. And we'll say this time the delimiter isn't a space. It's a slash. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we should see 13 is the day, birth month is the second, birth year is 2006. And so we can, again, copy this down to get birth dates. Finally, let's build these back up into a proper date, and then we can calculate age. So to build it into a proper date, we're going to say equals date. And the way the date function works is we pass it a year and a month and a day. So we'll say year is this, month is this, and day is this. And close bracket. And again, it's going to, this time it's asking, suggesting an autofill. Let's go for it, save ourselves some time. So that's how you can use the split function to break text apart based on a delimiter.